Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 29th of August. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. As ever, I'm going to give you the major themes to look out for, but please stay with me. I will then dive deep to give you in forensic detail each of the 12 zodiac signs from Aries through to Pisces. This week begins with the Sun continuing its journey in the sign of Virgo. Virgo energy asks us to be more discriminating, to focus on the details of our situation. If we can make some small adjustments, that can add up to something more substantive. Anything to do with our physical health, the organization of our situation, or even our jobs and pets, believe it or not, with the sixth house, can take on extra significance. But of course, the new moon, which occurred last week, is still reverberating around the heavens, and that's squared up with Mars, and that square with Mars does continue into this week. Now, this can add an extra uh, dimension to this energy of Virgo, because Mars is in the sign of Gemini, which gives it a passionate desire to express ideas or to be more physically active. And the two together can create a kind of frenetic extra energy and that makes it difficult to really focus ourselves and get grounded. So the key this week is really deciding on what the priorities are, narrowing our focus and really putting our energy into achieving the significant things that we need to do first. But it's possible that someone could be a bit picky or irritable or overcritical, and we just need to be conscious of that. Now, it's the case that Mars actually forges a brilliant angle to Mercury, now in the sign of Libra, urging us to try to listen more attentively to others be a bit more detached if people see things in a different way but this angle to mars suggests that if, if there are people that we can collaborate with and work on those details with but we have some shared uh, ideals that we can or interest that we can uh, collaborate around then progress can be made. Mercury is also opposite Jupiter, which is quite a buoyant influence, but it's also important to uh, not promise anything we can't realistically deliver, because Mercury is the communication, Jupiter's the optimism. Now, as we draw to the end of the week, there is uh, on Saturday a quarter moon, and this quarter moon occurs in the sign of Sagittarius, which of course, very much enjoys freedom, space and independence. So that need to focus on those responsibilities and obligations that comes from the sun in Virgo is challenged so what? So even more reason not to readily agree or volunteer to anything if we don't have the available free time. Also, the square between Saturn and Uranus, which dominated year 2021 and the start of this year, they are inching closer together. They're going to be within one degree between the 2nd and also uh, the 12th of October. But just be aware that the... Uh, uh, frustration that this particular aspect generated last year is likely to come much more to the fore. Remember Saturn's about the structure but also the limitation, Uranus is about the truth but also the restlessness and rebelliousness and therefore they are very conflicting energies. Now please stay with me for your in-depth zodiac sign forecast but if you would like to understand what year 2023 will hold for you and get the rest of 2022 free plus your life roadmap your character analysis which can guide your moves and get 30 percent off please see my uh, link beneath this video and if you've yet to subscribe to my channel i'd be honored if you did so now please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. If you've already done so, thank you so much for your continued support. So Virgo, your week commencing the 29th of August forecast continues to see your sun 
getting more established in your sign. It's asking you to really embrace your individual talents and and the key things you're passionate about and promote them with a lot of enthusiasm and with Mars right at the top of your scope still in a square with the Sun this can create a lot of drive but it's important to use that drive in the right kind of way Mars square the Sun can create a kind of frenetic and quite impatient energy and also with Venus in your 12th house and really affected quite severely by Saturn and Uranus on Monday, something around a trust issue could just really jag at the start of this week. Also, of course, Saturn and Uranus are inching back closer into a square, which dominated year 2021 and the start of this year, and balancing that need to you know, be very thorough, precise, and dedicated to your responsibilities against another side of your nature that wants to break out and be more of a free spirit can prove to be somewhat challenging but your ruler mercury is actually in a very constructive link with mars and also a very positive one with jupiter and despite the prevailing financial headwinds that we're all experiencing i think a slice of good news could be possible by the end of this week and also i can tell you that venus will be moving into your sign at the start of next week which will bring a change of focus or bring to an end a period of deep questioning you may have been having around key relationships. But what about that quarter moon on Saturday? Well, that's in your fourth house of home emotion family. And really, that's the story of the week. The sun wants you to focus on what's important to you. Mars gives you a lot of extra gravitas and, and determination and ambition. But the moon just cautions you to make sure that everything feels right, that you're not forcing the pace just a little too quickly. Mm -hmm.